Have you heard the term vector in the data science context? Today, we are going to discuss what the word vector refers to in data science. Hi, I'm Dr. Shahriyar Hussain. Let us discuss what vectors are. The word vector in physics refers to a quantity with a direction. A vector in data science is no different than a vector in physics. Each object or a data point of a tabular data is sometimes referred to as a vector. That is, in data science, a data point is equal to an object of the data table is equal to a vector. Therefore, each row of a data table is commonly called a vector. Why do we call a data point a vector? Before answering this question, we need to know what an origin is. Regardless of the data points in the space, there is an origin in every data set. The origin is the coordinate where the value in each direction is zero. That is, the origin in a two-dimensional data set is the coordinate is zero comma zero in a two-dimensional space. The origin in a three-dimensional data is 0, 0, 0. The origin of a four-dimensional data set is 0, 0, 0, 0, so and so forth. There might not be a row in the data table that contains all zeros. However, the space formed by the data always contains that origin, even if the origin is not present in the data table. Now, let us talk about what a vector is. A data point or an object is called a vector because it resembles the concept of direction and magnitude in physics or mathematics. The vector formed by a data point has the direction pointing from the origin toward the data point. The magnitude of the vector is considered to be the distance between the origin and the point. Consider that we have this data set. We have two features in the table. We have five objects or five data points. Each of the five data points is considered a vector a vector of two features. All the five vectors are drawn in this figure. Notice that the vectors have a direction from the origin toward the data points. In practice, we do not have to worry much about the directions of the vectors in data science. Consider each vector as a one-dimensional array. In this table, each object or a row is a vector which is a one-dimensional array of length 2 because the dataset is two-dimensional. In a 10-dimensional dataset, each row is called a vector composed of a one-dimensional array of 10 elements. Of course, the vector directions will be from the origin toward each of the points in the space. In computer science, we frequently call a one-dimensional array a vector, probably because the one-dimensional array content forms a vector in the space. In data science, sometimes we use vector-based math, many times we don't. For simplicity, consider that a vector is just another name of a data point or an object or a row of the data. We'll talk more about data space, vectors, proximity measures, and many other algorithms in this course. Meantime, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell-shaped button so that you receive notifications when we publish any video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.